The pencil originated in prehistoric times when chalky rocks and charred sticks were used to draw on surfaces as varied as animal hides and cave walls. And in this video, we are going to look at how a modern day pencil is made. Welcome to GNP Animations. Let's get into the topic. A typical modern day pencil consists of solid pigment core, typically graphite, wood, painted body, a logo, ferrule and eraser. Let's have a look into how a pencil is made. The most important ingredient in a pencil is graphite, which most of the people continue to call lead. Graphite is a mineral that forms when carbon is subjected to heat and pressure in its crust and in the upper mantle. It's a naturally occurring form of crystalline carbon. So the question is, where is graphite located and how is it extracted? The graphite mines are located all around the world, however, the distribution of mines is not equal. Graphite is extracted by using both open pit and underground mining methods. After extracting the graphite ore, it is sent to the factory. Inside the factory, the purification of graphite takes place. Mainly the graphite is purified by hydrometallurgical purification process. In hydrometallurgical purification, the graphite is purified by some methods like flotation, acid base and by using hydrofluoric acid methods. These are some methods used in purification of graphite and the purified graphite is transported to the other factory that makes graphite into pencil leads. The pencil lead is made up of graphite and clay powders. They are mixed together using water. The amount of clay content added to the graphite depends on the intended pencil hardness and the amount of time spent on grinding the mixture determines the quality of the lead. Then, the graphite and clay mixture is sent into a hydraulic press in which the graphite mixture is forged through a die opening of the proper size. That produces one long continuous lead. Then the next machine cuts the continuous lead into pencil lengths. Those pencil leads contain moisture, so they bend easily. To prevent that, they are collected into small containers then sent into a rotary dryer. That slowly dries the leads. After drying, the leads exit the dryer, but not quite strong enough. So next, they go into a kiln for 10 hours at 1000 degrees centigrade. This firing transforms the clay that mixed with the graphite and turns the lead into their final hardness. And finally, resulting leads are dipped in molten wax which seeps into the tiny holes of the leads and allows for smoother writing. Finally, we made the pencil core or lead. It's time to make a wooden holder that holds the lid. Most of the pencils are made from cedar, the best choice wood for many years. Because cedar has a pleasant odor, does not wrap or lose its shape. The wood is cut into slats. Each slat is placed in a dry kiln. This gives a uniform moisture content that makes the assembly more streamlined. The slats are passed under a giant cutting wheel that carves grooves. These grooves will hold the lid in place. Then the grooves are filled with a special elastic glue that acts as a cushion for the lid. Now it's time to add the lid into the grooves. The lead laying machine loaded with the leads perfectly inserts the leads into the grooves. 
Then another layer of glued slat with a glue layer is placed on the top of the slat that contains lids. Almost it's like a lid sandwich. After those sandwiches have been removed from the conveyor belt, they are placed into a metal clamp and squeezed by a hydraulic press and left clamped together until the glue is dried. After the lid sandwiches are dried, they are sent through a cutter that cuts the sandwiches into pencils mostly into hexagonal or triangle shapes. The whole assembly is then cut into individual pencils, they are vanished and painted. After that, they receive their company trademarks or logos with the help of stamping machine. And the last step, the eraser is added by using the rubber tip assembly machine. And the result is a beautiful pencil ready for sharpening. Finally, this is how pencils are made. I hope you like the video and for more videos like this, consider subscribing to GNP Animations. I will be back with another animated video. Until then, stay tuned to GNP Animations. Thank you for watching.